Good morning, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about your calling as a trader, and you'll know what it is. Um, what do I mean by that? So before I get into it, guys, my name is Reese. I am an apprentice of the master trader, inner circle trader, Michael Huddleston. Um, I believe in algorithmic theory. I believe that the markets are controlled by high frequency trading algorithms. And um, well, there you go. Uh, you're calling as a trader. So what do I mean by that? Well, there's different um, there's different types of traders. So there's position traders who trade over weeks and months and kind of long term traders. And then there's swing traders. So people who are trying to catch the bulk of the daily range uh, with retracements. And so they're they're letting unrealized profits, you know, things go for them and go against them. And then there's the scalper. The scalper is looking for the lowest hanging fruit, the first target, the 10 point move, the 20 point move, 30 point move. The scalper is the active day trader. And you will know if you if you try trading professionally, if, if you want to try to do this, you will figure out uh, what your calling is and you need to listen to that. You will know if you feel irritated every single time that the market retraces against you, if, if you can't handle retracements, you're probably a scalper and you probably need to figure out, uh, figure that out pretty quickly and how to work with that. If retracements don't bother you and you can, you can handle, you know, trades for a long time, hours and hours and hours, then you're probably a swing trader. And if you got a lot of money and you just don't want to look at the chart at all, then you're probably a position trader. So, what is my calling as a trader? Um, I'm a scalper, 100%. Every time that I've tried to swing trade, um, I don't do very well with it, never have. Um, I certainly can't position trade and hold hold things overnight because I'm, I'm day trading. So I'm a scalper. So what does a scalper's executions look like? Yeah, it looks like that. It looks like that. It looks like a whole lot of holy moly. Uh, and that's because it's what it's what scalping looks like, guys. It's it's ten points. It's twenty points. It's thirty points in the, on the Nasdaq. It's it's aim, it's aiming for the first targets. You know, it it's looking at very short term intervals and trying to realize profit quickly. Now, why do I know that that scalping is is my calling as a day trader? Because I can't. I hate. I hate not realizing profit. Every time that the, the, the thing retraces against me, I am irritated. And I like being in and out of the market. Um, I see things from both sides. I'm not particularly caring which, which side of the market that I'm on. I'm not inherently biased. And I like the short, quick, like quick money. Uh, that's what I like. And so in order to in order to scalp, I've brought down my contracts to trade. You'll notice I trade one contract at a time. That's because I'm I know that I'm going to be in and out of the market and my strike rate is going to therefore be a little bit lower, okay? Because I'm not allowing I'm really not allowing very much retracement against my positions at all. Um I don't care. You know, there are there are sacrifices that you will you will learn to make you will have to make once you figure out what your calling is if you want to be a swing trader you will have to sacrifice a lot of intraday volatility and that's just a fact if you want to be a scalper there's going to be times that and i know this what is what what is my sacrifice as a scalper what am i sacrificing i'm going to miss some big runners that's just a fact i know that i'm going to miss some things where the market moves 50, 60, 70 points. But I know that going in. That's my expectation. Um, I know that I can't trade too many contracts. I'm sticking with one because I know that I'm going to be in and out of the marketplace frequently. I'm. That's what I like doing. Uh, it's what I feel called to do. And so when you're going through your trading, you need to analyze your emotions. You need to analyze your mind. You need to introspect a lot and ask yourself, can I handle retracements? If retracements don't bother you, you're probably a swing trader. If you are like me, and every single time that the market moves against you, you're pissed, 
um, every time that you see a position goes goes into profit and then you don't realize it in your account and you're pissed, you're probably a scalper. Uh, but with scalping, there comes uh, a lot of skill is required, frankly. Uh, a great amount of skill is required. Um, and you're going to miss some big runners. That's just a fact. You're going to you're not going to catch every time the market moves cleanly 70 points, 100 points down. You just won't. Um, and if you go in with that expectation, uh, you'll, you'll feel a lot better. When, when that does happen and, and you knew that that could happen going in, it won't bother you so much. Um, a lot of people would be very confused by this because if you're not day trading, this wouldn't make sense to you. But these sorts of things where the market is moving in two directions, that's my preferred environment by far. I don't like it when the market is moving in one direction because I, I like being in and out of the marketplace and I like it. I like playing it from both directions and I see things from both directions and when the market's just cleanly moving in one direction, that's not my preferred environment at all. I like trading ranges. Um, I like, I just do. Uh, and, I, and I like being in and out of the market. So I know that my calling as a day trader is to be a scalper. And so the real question in this video is what is your calling?